I said, well, okay, if you're not allowed to report on the illegally obtained m material that I have, just let parents know that this website exists. Predator in my life. This was the beginning. Oh my God. Because the owner of the website happened to be a Democratic politician. If you want to see the whole video of this, skip all the crap I'm saying. It's really not important. Go look up Sean Ryan on YouTube and watch everything they've uncovered. Make sure you have a strong stomach. And ran for Congress two times. You're basically hunting down these people that are exploiting children sexually on the internet and in person. Yeah. I know you have a couple of horrific stories. One guy that was, I think it was his daughter in the bathtub. Well, it's pretty hard to ignore it now, isn't it? Curious about where 85,000 missing migrant children could be? I have a pretty good idea. What about the ones that don't even make it to the United States? What's happened to them? Sorry, news stations. And to talk to a ton of reporters. And all of them were super excited to talk to me. What news stations? Um, Sun Sentinel, uh, Daily Mail, Business Insider, Fox, uh, some, some influencers, Ronan Farrow, Candace Owens, they both didn't read my messages. Um, but as for the news stations, uh, they, you know, I had full conversations with the reporters. They knew what they were getting themselves into. They were very excited about reporting on it. And once it got back from legal, they weren't allowed to report on it. And um, I said, well, okay, if you're not allowed to report on the illegally obtained m material that I have, just let parents know that this website exists, you know, what, you know, whatever you want, but just keep whatever illegal out of it. You know, I just want them to parents to know that this website exists. You don't need to put my name. You don't need to put the material that I obtained, nothing. Uh, every single one of them completely disregarded me. I, you know, I, I sent a lot of those notes over to Project Veritas with some evidence of that. But uh, not a single person until now has done anything about this. Not one. Huffington Post themselves, a left-wing organization, reported that four out of five females. Why do I say females and not women? Females because I'm talking of all ages. Report by the time they've made it to the United States. They have been sexually assaulted. The R word. And I don't mean responsibility. The other R word. Not that they had a beer or two and then changed their mind later. Legitimately surprise sexed. Four out of five females that make it to the United States. Again, we're not counting the ones that don't make it here. What about all of our missing women and children? What about all the missing indigenous women in the United States that people seem to ignore? But there's a problem on reservations with indigenous women missing. They don't know where they went. But you know who operates on a lot of the reservations because they can blend in to the casual white observer? Cartels. You want to know where 85,000 children disappeared to? I think we're finally on to it a little bit. But they're not coming for your children. Remember, they said that. They say that every day. No one is coming for your children. And they're probably being honest. They've already come for the children. From Nathan Larson. I'm going to read it right now. <clears throat> this is from Nathan Larson, Democratic politician that ran for BA uh, Congress multiple times, ran a website for pedos to discuss their dark intentions and fantasies. Here's the quote. It's not enough to <laughs> kids and take their innocence. You also need to reproduce the next generation with them. Let them see that you prefer to the offspring you have with them than to continue to have with a woman who is no longer jailbait. The quote continues. But you can still sometimes. Just let her know, though, that what you love her for the most is producing with you is producing with you a fresh, new, young girl and that this is her main value and contribution hat you think fondly of her 
This is disgusting. Yeah. I'm sorry. You think fondly of her for because that beautiful daughter reminds you of her. It's unimaginable. You see, they're just changing the tense. We've already got your children. We're so worried about the drag queen coming to the school that we don't dig deeper than why. We think it's just a, uh, an alphabet group agenda. They're hiding behind an alphabet group agenda. That alphabet group agenda is nothing but a human shield for what they want to do. It's like when a, uh, you know, you see the scenes in the movies where they grab a hostage. That's the hostage they hide behind. That's the hostage they hide behind. And why are they doing it in the schools? Well, let's be frank. It is a lot cheaper. I mean, this operation has to be very expensive to do it this way. I mean, all the politicians you have to buy off and all the law enforcement. And if you do get caught, gosh, the consequences are pretty terrible. I got an idea. We'll just do it to the children. We'll convince the children at a young age that this type of behavior is acceptable. Drag queen story hour. Pronouns. Ah, transition. It should make your blood boil. And why? Because in 10, 15 years, we'll have an entire generation that no longer has any taboo stigma related to this type of behavior. To them, it will be totally acceptable. To them, if you don't accept it, you'll be the bigot. You'll be pedophobic or whatever. They'll have a word for it. They'll have a word for it. And then there'll be laws. Well, you cannot, I mean, you can't speak out against them. That's hate speech. Oh, 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 you fired someone. That, well, do you see where it goes? Do you see this rabbit hole? What did Dr. Samuel do at Proctor say? A society that ceases to respect and protect and defend women is on its way out when women will no longer respect themselves, why would anyone else? And when our most innocent ones, the children, it's almost game over. It is almost game over. And states where these politicians run things are passing laws that you can't ask questions, that your children can do things behind your back without your consent. They're not trying to protect the children. They're protecting themselves. Good day.